Um, so as um, a child, I started doing films when I was around six years old. So that's kind of what got me going and I started doing a little bit of radio and was doing my first animation by the time I was seven or eight. And then I've been doing voiceovers and animation ever since. So, um, and you just do voiceover, right? You don't do film or theater or anything. Is there any particular reason? Do you just despise other media? No, of course not. Um, I think it's just my specialty, I guess is what I would say. Um, I stopped doing film because I got braces when I was 12 years old, and then I just never um, have gotten back into it. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, how, how many brony My Little Pony conventions have you actually been to? I imagine it's a lot. Quite a few now, more and more. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. So, um, how does Brony Can compare to other other brony cons? Uh, so far, so good, and it's great. I mean, it's in my hometown, so it's even more exciting. Um, so, do you have any particularly interesting fan experiences that you'd like to share? Yeah, um, well, so many. Um, I've had some incredible experiences. I've had people that have told me that um, watching My Little Pony has changed their life for the better. It's made them happier. Um, a lot of fans have said that they have, you know, depression or different things that they've had to overcome and that the show actually helps them. So it's pretty amazing. Did you ever expect um, as an actor to have that kind of impact on people? Not at all. Um, ha does it surprise you uh, at all? Yeah, um, at first, definitely, and then it's just kind of more and more, so it's definitely not a coincidence. It's, you know, there's all these fans that are kind of saying the same thing. It's really powerful. Do you, like, when, when you see the show, do you go, I understand. I understand exactly what's drawing everyone to it. Or are you like, wow, I don't know. I don't see the show too much. <laughs> uh, I'm not, uh, I, I'm really critical of myself when I watch my own performances. So, um, but you know, I, the messages are, you know, definitely when we're recording, we can see that there's like really strong morals and really good positive message. So it makes sense. What's your strategy? Um, if someone, if a fan comes up and asks you like a really technical, specific question, how do you, how do you deflect? Like if you're like, I don't know. Oh, if I don't know, I just say you I don't say know. It. I would never pretend to know something I didn't. And if it's something I do know, then I'm happy to answer. Okay, so um, you have a, a Twitter account, correct? Yes. Do you mind telling me what it is so we, so everyone watching the video can come and follow you? It's at Andrea Lipman. I never would have guessed. <laughs> yeah, it's very surprising. 